This is the Mercator projection of the globe Earth. East and west distances get stretched as you move north or south of the equator. Greenland and Antarctica appear larger than normal. The Mercator map was founded by Gerardus Mercator in 1569. Its primary use is for ocean navigation and for local area use. While the north and south distances remain constant, east and west distances stretch as you move away from the equator on a Mercator projection map. All lines of constant bearing are represented by straight segments on a Mercator map. These properties, conformality, and straight room lines make this projection suited for marine navigation. Courses and bearings are measured using protractors, and the corresponding directions are easily transferred from point to point on the map. See the true size of the land masses compared to the Mercator map when shrunk to their proper size. Here is a map with Tissot's indices. A single circle represents a distortion point. Again, more distortion farther south and north of the equator one goes. For example, 1 inch of distance equals 100 miles at the equator, but at the Antarctic coastline it will take 2 inches distance to equal 100 miles on the Mercator map. The entire surface of a sphere cannot be represented as a plane or flat map without some form of distortion. To get a Mercator projection, one will need a globe and a light source to project the images onto a cylinder. Demonstration of Mercator projection used from a Harvard Natural Sciences website. Light source inside the globe, countries marked with a marker and projected onto the cylinder. Here is a cylindrical projection of the Mercator map produced from the globe. Here is a demonstration on Google Maps on how the distances are stretched as you go south or north of the equator. Note the stretching of distances on the bottom right of the video. This can only happen if the Earth is a globe. Earth's not flat, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. More Flat Earth debunking videos coming soon. Please subscribe. Thank you.